cow's milk protein allergy, the most common allergy in the world. Did you know that there could be potentially six proteins that could be the cause of your child's allergy? You see, cow's milk protein allergy is all to do with the protein in milk, not the lactose. In this video, I explain more. So in a nutshell, there are six major proteins that have been identified to cause or be the cause of an allergy to cow's milk. So cow's milk protein allergy is all in the name, isn't it? It's all to do with the protein. It has nothing to do with the lactose because the lactose is the sugar in milk. So we need to leave that out and only focus on the proteins. So you probably know that milk is made up of two components of a protein. These are called casein and whey. Now human milk contains this in a ratio of 40 to 60. Cow's milk contains this in an 80 to 20 ratio, so a lot more casein. And cow's milk formula, have, they've tried by manipulating, they've tried to match the ratio of casein to whey to that of human milk. But obviously, the casein and the whey that we have as humans is very different to that in cow's milk. Now let me explain further. If we look at the six potential proteins that could, could be the cause of your child's allergy to cow's milk, we can subdivide them into the casein ones and the whey ones. So here we've got the casein ones, which are alpha S1 casein, and that's the main trigger for an allergy to cow's milk. Then we've got alpha S2 casein, beta casein and K casein. And if we look at the whey, we've got alpha lactoalbumin and then we've got beta lactoglobulin. Now it is the lact it is this one right here, the beta lactoglobulin that is the main cause of cow's milk protein allergy for some infants. Remember, it could be one, two, or it could be all of them. For this video, I am particularly want to focus on the beta lactoglobulin because some infants, we changed them from formula to formula. We changed them from a casein formula to a whey formula. They may be on a lactose free formula that at times tends to be 100% casein and then they start to do better. And the reason why they start to do better is because it's not because of the lactose free ingredient. No, it's because we've taken out the whey component. With the lactoglobulin, because it's a whey protein, it is thought to be non-heat stable in comparison to casein, which is heat stable. So for children that start on the milk ladder, some children have a hard time growing out of their allergy. Perhaps that's because they are more allergic to the casein component and casein is heat stable. So although you start at the bottom of the milk ladder and you are heating up your milk or you are, you, are, you are using products that got cooked milk in, your child is yet not growing out of their allergy. Maybe it's because they are more allergic to the casein component. Then we've got the whey and whey is non-heat stable. So that means when you heat it up, we, are, we can tolerate it a lot better. So that is also a very interesting um, fact to note with the components in milk, that casein tends to withstand heat, but whey doesn't. So now you know we have potentially six proteins that could be the cause of an allergy to cow's milk. So it's not just one, it's not just two. It could be, but it could also be all of them. And it all depends on your child because everyone's unique. And therefore, I, I can strongly advise you to get a professional that really knows what they're talking about. Because that will not just help you, but also your baby, uh, and just give you that peace of mind to move forward. Now, I'm a qualified dietitian. I provide diagnosis and treatment. I can also get you the correct formula right to your door within three working days, and a prescription to your GP if that's what you need. So you're more than welcome to contact me. If you're interested, I'll put all the details below this video and also other videos about cow's milk protein allergy. Give this video a thumbs up, please, and subscribe to my channel if you like. And if you have any comments, please put them down below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.